Hello and welcome. This is Cheryl. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to share with you day one of the Spellbinders Crafty Advent Calendar for this year. So if you don't want to see what's in window number one yet, save this video to watch for later because I'm going to open it and then I'm going to create something with it. So here it is for day one. We have this cute little die set of a hot air balloon and this one's going to be fun for creating with all year round. There's lots of different little dies in this set, so it's perfect for cutting up a bunch of different cardstock scraps and using them up. And that's one of the things I love about the Crafty Advent Calendar. Not only are they great for using up cardstock scraps, but I love the fact that they include stuff that you can use all year long. So, long. so it's not just um, holiday themed stuff. So off screen, I did a bunch of die cutting. If you've never done die cutting before, I do it quite often on this channel. So you'll see a bunch of it in my other videos. I just figured I'd save time and do my die cutting off screen. So I've already assembled two of my hot air balloons. I'm going to do three of them for the cart that I'm creating and I'm assembling one of them here. I like to use Barely Art glue and I have it in a nice fine tip bottle so I can get even the tiniest bits like that little tiny piece for the bow. For that bow piece I like to use a jewel picker to pick up that little piece of cardstock and put it right into the um, glue that I would put in the center of the bow. Now all of these pieces layer together really really easily and nicely and the base of the balloon has indents in it showing you exactly where the top layers go so it's really easy to place and put everything and know where everything goes. Now the little indents are a little bit smaller than those die cuts so it's not going to fit inside the little indents but it really indicates exactly where they're supposed to go. Anytime I've glued something together I like to put an acrylic block on top of there holding everything nice and flat. For the base of my card I'm using the Tunnel Clouds die set to create some clouds for behind my hot air balloons. So I have them cut to a few different heights to create some dimension and layering behind my hot air balloons and I'm going to do a little bit of light ink blending behind or at the base of them with some Lost Shadow Distress Pad. Now this is a really light gray. I already had a little bit of ink on my brush before starting. So that's why the biggest one is a little bit dark, but that dark part is gonna be covered by the other clouds in front of it. These pieces are all four and a quarter inches wide and everything is gonna fit on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. I used my Altenew sticky mat to hold those pieces in place while doing some ink blending, but you don't necessarily need to. It just makes it a little bit easier. Now, even though I have my clouds cut to different lengths or different heights, it doesn't mean you have to have them layered on top of each other. So you could see that back one was higher than the bottom of the card. The other one's gonna go a little bit lower and all of those bottom ends are gonna be covered anyways. Now, the one thing I meant to mention earlier is I have all of my clouds here die cut. If you didn't want to have layers of cardstock behind your hot air balloons, what you could do is use that Tunnel Clouds die set and create a stencil and do some ink blended clouds in the background instead. Gives a little bit of a different look, but then you still get those clouds in that background. There's also some individual clouds in that set. You could use those instead of having the full clouds at the bottom of your card as well. So there's a few different options. For my hot air balloons, I have them die cut and created in three different colors. Just thought it was going to be pretty that way, but you could even do multiple colors per balloon and I think it would look nice as well. I'm gluing this one here right flat to the card and then the other two I have some foam tape that I'm putting behind it just to give it a little bit more dimension to it. Now I didn't add any mediums to the front of these balloons. I kept them very plain with the cardstock, but if you wanted to, you could add some glitter or like some stickles to them to make them a little bit sparkly. I'm gonna do the stickles on the edges of the clouds instead, or you could use specialty cardstocks for them. You could use um, glossy cardstock with alcohol ink on it if you wanted something glossy and vibrant for it. So you could really get fun with using different card stocks for this background. So this card was so easy to put together. The thing that took the longest was die cutting the pieces for the three different balloons, but really it's a very simple card design and a great way, in my opinion, to use those hot air ballooned die sets. 
I hope you enjoyed day one of the Crafty Advent Calendar for 2024. I will see you tomorrow for day two.